they had no right to make a teaser as good as this one. Yeah. They don't. They don't have to release a trailer. They don't have to do shit. They don't have to do anything. Salt. Right now, we're talking about black excellence and black beauty and black excellence. And for the first time ever, some fucking Martian water freak. Oh, oh, I know where you're going with this. I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Yeah. Not, I mean, when look, Ryan Coogler directs the Black Panther movies, and when that motherfucker wants to represent some shit, he represents it hard. Yeah, I mean, he's oh, with an O? With an O, hard. Said, I'm glad you noticed. Oh, yes. yeah. There's a difference hoard. between I represent hard, baby, and I represent hard. I mean, <laughs> it's quicker and deeper. Look, you already know Ryan Coogler was on. <laughs> and that's why I'm on the Black Excellence. <laughs> we get to talk about Black Panther, and Black Panther, uh, they said, Disney said, you know what? If we got a rap, where can we slap one group we don't do a lot of? We have zero of. We got no. a lot of ground to make we up. Got <laughs> we have a yeah. fuck ton who, of ground who, to make what up. Is the representation, oh, like, so what is the representation shit, magnum opus yeah. that we could talk about? So this has got to be that concentrated <laughs> shit. We can't water this down at all. <laughs> this Listen, is 100% The removal of, a, <laughs> yeah. the removal of a black icon, we can replace it with something else. Yeah, right. yeah. We did this once before for you guys, so we're going to share this movie so we can do it again heaven for forbid, this group. Heaven forbid we get Oh, it's wrong. fine. Yeah, I know, right? Heaven forbid. For the, for the we, first another, of another something. side character, a la America Chavez, who's Puerto Rican, who's Puerto Rican, but all but the actress is Mexican. Yeah. So we works. take Hispanic in general. Stop. So they it. they yeah. deducted her. What was the other? Oh, Echo <laughs> they, was was indigenous, which is close enough in my book. Yeah, and she's a sidekick. Uh, I mean, you have well, Baby Falcon. Who else was show. there too? There was another Falcon. Falcon, Falcon, Falcon sidekick, me Mexican sidekick yeah. man. Um, why am I feel like I'm missing that he another gave one? broken equipment to. That's right. <laughs> he said, this is no work. You can figure it out. Yeah, hey, we'll make a lowrider out of this. Okay. Hey, got it, Holmes. Yeah. I don't know why Anthony Mackie talked like that. I don't know why Anthony Mackie talked like that. I don't think the guy like sounded that. like yeah. that. Anthony Mackie sees him flying. He's like, that's a really, you did a really great job on the repairs. I'm not seeing hydraulics, though. Did I you just, chrome it? <laughs> and and I, you know what? I, I How is the God. wheel still spinning really, on it? <laughs> I really like the airbrush of the Virgin Mary on the wings. <laughs> that looks amazing. Down the back of the wings. <laughs> when they it's spread. The Virgin when Mary. they spread, it's it's beautiful. That was beautifully done. <laughs> the Mexican Tango is gonna have a lowrider paint job on the wings. Airbrushed. It's gonna airbrushed be airbrushed. Of the Virgin <laughs> Mary on the middle. That's how we do it in the hood. Uh, some brushed. chola hoochies on the left. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and then for some reason I got the Virgin me. Mary. <laughs> That actually got me. <laughs> like the biblical version. I see, I see those pictures all the time on my candles. <laughs> right? <laughs> that is so upsetting, Tommy. But you know they would do it. Because Namor, Namor is indigenous. Like, he's pre-colonization. He uh, pre-colonization. Yeah. So, but, but that guy's just a Mexican dude. Just a Mexican Hispanic guy. Hispanic dude, at least. But I mean, oh, No, I like to think he's Mexican. God damn it, because we need We need more. Mexicans. Yeah. We need a lot Miles of Morales, things. There's like, um, once again. Actually, he is Mexican, because he's Based yeah, it's, I, I feel like Miles yeah. Morales will be revealed in this movie because it's perfect. Uh, Miles, what, what, what? Oh, jeez. Just throw all the black. We can't do this in. too much. That's no, too much. No, they said we want the purest blend Hispanic and black. <laughs> and black culture. Oh, I'm just looking. I, don't get me wrong. Puerto Ricans, I love you. Carlos, I love you. All that stuff. But there's like in the United States, I did the math. I was joking. Mm. I was like, there's five to every 100. <laughs> Or like one to every fifty, I guess would be the reduced. Look, you what? have to of Puerto Ricans. Like, there's that many more Mexicans than Puerto Ricans. It's a lot of you guys. Yeah, you can't y'all. get one character until now, and yeah. and he kind of sucks. But in the comics, he's cool. But he's in very cool. but in America, like Namor. That fish weirdo. He's like the third superhero ever invented by Marvel. Like, that weirdo. Or second or first. He's I'm got wings on his ankles. What a weirdo. But See, like, you get representation years. and but, I still no, be But vanilla. I'm talking about vanilla Namor. Because Namor's a dork, right? He didn't yeah, sell he toys. Oh. He doesn't do, like, nobody's dressing up for Namor for Halloween. They pre, are now. Pre this, okay. right? Well, like, but it's a, that is a legacy character. Like, of when course. I say legacy, I mean deep in, like, original Human Torch legacy. Oh, I read and the Marvels. And they have to go far to back. Oh, did you like I read the Marvels because he mentioned Namor's Jesus. in there. Namor, Namor. <laughs> He's, it, it, he shows it, up immediately because it goes chronologically. It goes chronologically by, like, superhero releases, and it was the Android Human Torch, and then Namor just starts fucking with everybody. That's and it's literally does. about 
about the Marvels over the decades, and Namor's there the whole time, just fucking with people. Just fucking with people, And man. I can't He was wait. invited to the wedding, though, I believe. I believe so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was invited to and the wedding. And he may have adulterated with one of uh, Sue Storm. Sue Storm. Oh, absolutely. They got a thing. It's a thing. They I can't wait to see that play no out nerds. on camera. Going on. Point is, I had to learn about I Namor. I got him in the comics. It's great. <laughs> I had to learn about Namor because... Yeah. He's one of yours now. Yeah, and yeah. technically he's Mayan, which is Southern Mexico and mm-hmm. Central America, and they did that so they can get Central America as well. Should have been Aztec, but I'm going to let it go. It's fucking cool, man. But I don't even want to talk about that first. It's Black Slans, of course. And we, we have to address the fact that Chadwick Boseman is longer with us. And, and we I didn't mean, know prior to the trailer, you guys were like, we're not getting a fucking trailer yet? What the fuck? It's only like two more yeah. months left. No, and I even Everyone no, was in panic mode up until this I trailer. So, so Tommy was getting mad. I was not. I said, I'm so neutral on this trailer. I was done. I like. I was not. About especially the reveal without, of a trailer. Yeah, about the reveal of a trailer. And then also, I'm like, I don't know what they're going to do. And MCU is not like firing on all cylinders like it was at the time when Black Panther originally close, came. Yeah. Right. So there's a lot of feelings that I had whenever I was like, oh, I mean... And then, especially since the first trailer of Black Panther is one, we of the, talked about that is uh-huh. one of the yeah. best trailers around, right? Oh, yeah, so, we brought it up. Yeah, yeah, we brought it up very recently. Like and, that and, first it hit, one. It hit and the I even say just, I, it was just a great trailer, dude. It was it's such a good trailer. Yeah, um, that I was like, man, they're gonna have to follow this up with some bops. So <laughs> let's go ahead and dive into it. We're gonna play it straight. Leave our commentary minimum to Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. The Black Panther. <laughs> Fucking that Wakanda voice. That's uh, that the Denai Gurra, right? Huh? That's Denai Gurra, right? Yeah, that's her voice. I, I, me, her voice is so let great. Let me just let me just put it out there. I mean, when it comes to teaser trailers. <laughs> Black, I forgot that was a yeah, fucking teaser. Yeah, Black yeah. shit. Black Panther. Black Panther. You, hey, look. You you done did it throw, twice. Step. Throw you Kendrick done, into your to your shit. That I, might help, but like I don't know who. I, I assume it's the same person who did the first. Had trailer. to be the same. It had crew. to be. Give them every fucking trailer in Hollywood. Oh shit! Right. Every let one me, of them. Let me paint a picture for you and not tell you a goddamn thing. Yeah. And I mean, and have you cry? Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen. I've in this seen movie. this trailer thirty five times. I, and it I, makes me tear up most of dude, it. Dude, I like fucking. It's like a punch to the gut. It is an absolute like, punch how to did the they gut. Do that, because I was I, not I, expecting that. I did not know what I was getting myself into. Yeah. I really didn't. And when I sat there and I watched it, and I said, "Fuck, they had no right to make a teaser as good as this one." Yeah, they don't. They don't have to release a trailer. They don't have to do shit. <laughs> they don't have to do anything. Salt. <laughs> Ticket, I actually, fend, fandangoed yeah. already. No, I, I hope they don't show anything else until the movie. I know that's not Fuck the case. Up the release well, of they it. don't need like, to. Yeah, no. Look at like Thor had about eighty trailers with the goats and lightning bolts and the other gods. We and, got them early and butt cheeks. No, they were releases up to the minute that movie was released. Was it? There's a bunch of TV trailers and shit uh-huh. and all that stuff. But they needed it. <laughs> this, that's, I'm done. I'm okay. I'm good. I've eaten my fill. I don't need any more. Until I see it, and then I'm going to need another movie shortly after. I don't want to see any more. Honest no, to God. I don't. I'm not gonna watch I don't. Movie. No, I'm not, no, I'm not going to watch any more t- trailers when the actual 15 trailers come out for this. I'm not watching any of them. I don't watch TV to see TV spots. If it pops up on YouTube, I'm looking away or just That'd turning be in it the off. NFL. It'll be in oh, the NFL. fuck. I forgot about that part. Yeah, <laughs> We watch is. a lot of that for sure. Uh, I'll NFL. walk out the room. I don't want to see anything. I want to go in l- from this. Hi. Excellence. Well, excellence in particular today is brought to you by the lovely people over at the manscaped.com. I want to spend some time highlighting a couple of things that we use on the day to day, such as the Manscaped Body Wash, which is there to help make sure that you're lathering up and keeping clean. Oh, yeah. There is one product for oh, Manscaped yeah. that universally we all love, and it's their boxers. We really do rock with these boxers, and these 2.0s just dropped not too long ago. But let's say you're not in the market for any of those. Here you can see the Lawnmower 4.0, their refined cologne. Click in and check out the litany of their products. I actually personally own them all. Um, actually, yeah, I can genuinely say I think I own every Manscaped product to some capacity oh, yeah. now. I think we all. 
Yeah. And, and, and it's been pretty great so far. But the most important deal you need to be considering is using coupon code MAX20. That's right, the coupon code down below, MAX20, to save yourself 20% on all Manscaped products and free shipping. That is 20% off with free shipping. I won't thank you. You won't even thank yourself. I won't. But your balls will thank you. This worked. This shit worked. This Marvel, is- you finally did something right for the past year. Good job. Like, that worked. I mean, dude, I like, I was just realistically, in terms of a trailer, like, because they said it's one of the saddest, uh, how do I put it? It's one of the saddest trailers the MCU's ever did. This is just a no, sad period. trailer, period. Yeah. And I wouldn't yeah. even say it's sad as the feeling. It's bittersweet. It's, right. It just feels genuine. Yeah. Right. Like, that's that, that's what I kept That's on, what I was, it is. It, it was a genuine, like, Holy shit, I forgot what I felt like when Chadwick was gone, and yeah. I, I didn't need to be reminded. I told you, right, when it hit me randomly, I was listening to All the Stars on the way home probably a year and a half later, and I was listening to All the Stars. I parked my car. I started bawling in my car in the parking lot of my house, cried, and I was like, that sucks. He's gone, and then I just went about my day. It yeah. just it's, it's, it's awful that he's gone. It was I, such a weird thing when it happened. It was just like came out of nowhere. It was during COVID. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Yeah, so, or rather, that's why, right? You get lost in the whole trauma kinda, of COVID. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, kind of, sort of. Because, I mean, I, 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 I remember it. You yeah, know, yeah. just like, fuck. It was one of those, it was kind of a Paul Walker situation where, like, it just didn't register, really. Right. And then as time went on, it was just like, fuck. Like, that He's that gone, sucks. gone. And, it, and it's not even because, like, he was just an actor. It's because of what people said about him. And, and, and that's that was, the other thing where like yeah. everybody, like all the actors, um, actresses that came out to talk about working with him and just how he is in yeah. terms of like you can tell when like they celebrities were genuinely are on like, and when they're not and when they're genuine and they're like, no, that was real what they said about him. Like they was, truly felt that way. There was a Jimmy Kimmel sketch that I watched again where just the movie itself, let alone Chadwick, where he was behind a, a, a red car, uh, curtain and they said, "All right, tell Chadwick we're gonna do a video message for him." Tell them what, you, what the movie means to you. And it's just people after people saying how much this movie meant to them. And then he comes out behind the curtain and gives them a hug. Yeah. Watching that now is fucked up. It's very hard. But people gave him his roses when he needed them, which was fantastic. And so what do you do now, right? What do you do now that those roses that they gave her are now funeral well, roses, right? Well, no, because you... Not saying save that. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah, well, they're funeral roses right, right now. And, and that's I'm, what this trailer is, is a funeral, obviously, what, in the front yeah. of it. And then like, something must happen to Shuri because Angela Bassett made me cry with that line. Yeah, she got me with that Fuck line. Dude. Hey, by the way. No, that, I, was, I, was, I, I, I was saving that. Well, I was saving that for oh, a second. Oh, that's what you were Yeah, I was saving yeah, I was okay. like, save that for a second because I want to give Angela Bassett her own shine. Uh-huh. They but discovered like, who they had on cast. Right, <laughs> They're like, oh, right, yeah. Cause, cause that's we like, forgot oh. we have Angela Bassett. <laughs> Let's put her to work, huh? That's the thing. She was like, okay, we got That's a good get for a mother character. She's yeah. in a couple scenes and she's good. Getting that Marvel money good for and her. And then this one was just like, oh, wait. Okay, how do we fix this? Okay, well, Angela Bassett is done. Angela Bassett, we're going to be all Bassett, right. Yeah, like, if anybody's yeah, going to be a, like, a queen or take over real quick, it's going to be Angela Bassett. Who are we going to put in the I, forefront? Because it looks like she's really on the like in the forefront she's of the this. Queen, yeah, Queen yeah. Ramonda. I, I do... I, didn't want to go off into her just yet because okay. I wanted to. What? You no, leave the way. Uh, uh, <laughs> we oh. can talk like crazy about it. Yeah, this. no, because I wanted to <laughs> talk about Chadwick real quick. Okay. And I said that, you know, I, I watched this trailer and then I immediately watched the first teaser. Um... The original? Yeah. Okay. Don't do that. Because um, <laughs> it gets you. you. It was not good okay. on yeah. my home front. It was great. Yeah. But it wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> um Did your yearly cry. <laughs> I um and when I and when I when I, when, I, when I think about Black Panther, and you guys have heard me say this before, my parents are from Africa. I was born in the States. I, I grew up flying back and forth from here and there, and like for the most part, I'm true blue, African American. And so Black Panther hits on a note that's just different because I got all the perspectives from it. Um, and yeah, I mean, when I think about Chadwick Boseman, it, funnily enough, the first thing that comes to my mind is actually the SNL skit where it's it's talking about what do you bring to the cookout. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And, oh. and, it's, and it's Chadwick playing, you know. T'Challa. Um, T'Challa. T'Challa. Yeah. And it's like, oh, like, you know. Make, making jokes about potato salad. Yeah, and not, and I remember it's that. It is funny. Um, and, he, and he does it completely in character. And um, just those small instances. And about like, yes, he was very tired of the Wakanda salute. Yeah. But the fact they became the thing it was. Yeah. Just for the amount of 
little kids and people is. out there. Yeah. And, and it still is. Right. And I will even say, like, this was a movie I got my mom to see in theaters. And when I say that out loud, it still blows my mind. It's ready to do. That was my, my mom, dad, yeah. Getting my mom to go to the theater to see Black Panther is, like, was wild to me. Yeah. My mom now actually does. Yeah, she saw it, too. And she doesn't go to the movies anymore. And I'm like. I didn't have to make her. That was the crazy part. Um, when did the first one come out? But but, but one of the things that, uh, that, that, that really showcases and stands out here is this, that, that you see the portrait. You see just how much love and respect they're giving towards Chadwick. But also, man, just those feelings are, I don't know how I'm going to make it through this movie. Yeah, if they and keep I, doing that shit throughout. I, I, that's going to be Ryan cool, you stop. Hey, hey, <laughs> he's good at emotion. This motherfucker made me cry with Creed. Right. Like, he's great with that shit. And I mean. He will make you cry. I do want to, um, now we can go into her because, yes, Angela Bassett. Ooh, see, <laughs> that one line. There's that one line. That's sentence the one. in right. this movie. There's one sentence in this it teaser gets, trailer. What? Yeah. And the acting in that is better than like That's any a, of she, the MCU this year. That is a year. sample of a sample, Dude, TJ. She, she threw in a Nelson Mandela R. <laughs> That's how severe she got. Can I free how much I, how much I have sacrificed <laughs> that that uh, that she, Nelson Mandela R. She got R. the veins popping in the neck. Like right. she sold it. Like that is a cell of a. No, of an it, it feels like a mom who lost everything. Right. Yeah. And it's like, and she goes, and it, it, the scene in the trailer. Is everyone else coming up, dropping their mics, and just leaving hers up? No yeah. shit, that's that's like in masks, like just, yeah, we're not in talking. unison, right? <laughs> it was like, oh god, okay, I know she got I need, authority. I need a crew like Wakandans to have crews, man. I want to be able to come on the mic and all you guys just. We don't know what y'all do now. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, we'll see in November with how how y'all you know, oh, get down. And, mm, well, and we'll get to that. looks like he can he can we'll, we'll <laughs> authoritize some shit. Not to completely, you know. Uh, I don't want to swell it on just the sadness. Uh, you're still seeing, like, they're obviously it's doing action. the profession, pro, you know, the funeral stuff. Yeah, it's straight um, but up they're a also funeral procession, by the way. Getting more and more of those nothing but a- authentic African American faces. All black. I'm seeing two alleys now, so we're improving in Wakanda. We're getting oh, better. We're getting, we're, we're we're getting, getting more. Than Wakanda one. Street has got an expansion, it's got a roundabout. They we, just we, built it. We've that. got some angles now. To give people context, I was upset that Wakanda only had one street. It had all the CGI city, and then anytime they needed to shoot Wakanda, it was either on a cliff or in that one market hallway. That's about the size of this studio, honestly. And you're seeing nothing no but city street. beautiful no city black streets. faces on this screen. And and I, I know the internet's going to do it, so I'm just going to preempt it. They're going to add those funeral guys, the guys, the dancers with the suits and the white suits. That meme that you've seen with the African guys with the dead casket oh, yeah, on the shoulder, that. they're going to throw that in this scene. I know it. I'm just going to call it now. Like, I've called many things about this movie so far. Well, the internet's some, an awful place. I'll get so, to yeah. my other part at the other half. But, I mean, I think that in the showcase of all these variables, right, where this movie is doing so much for Chadwick and we're already seeing a lot of those African influences and strong performances – it's also bringing in something completely new to the MCU. And a new character has entered the chat. Mexicans. <laughs> they brought Mexicans <laughs> to the MCU. You ain't lying. <laughs> we had Luis. You had Luis. That's what I'm telling you. I keep on telling you. Some Luis. people no, might man. have thought Ned was if they were ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> if you squint really oh, hard, he's no. just... Oh, my God. Don't do that for an Asian man. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't even take no, it that I direction. Know. I know. That's why I t- brought it there for you. Um... <laughs> Where his mind goes. Look at it. <laughs> so, so they talk about it's brilliant. They talk about the death of Chadwick, and then they have a birth of a new king. It just wasn't a Wakandan king. They show a little baby water That's birth. A beautiful scene. Baby water birth of Namor. They show, I'm sure, some col- colonializing bastards burning his house, or maybe he's burning the colonial bastard's house for fucking with them. Because Namor has a chip on his shoulder. I have learned. Yes. About born with it. about land dwellers. Fucking with this shit. And so I kind of like that because I think that that's what Mexicans are about. Or at least the actors. It's Mesoamerican. It's Mayan, I think, inspired. That, hey, we're going to protect our shit. And if you fuck with us, we will burn your motherfucker down. And we will hunt you. And we will do this. And so the fact that, one, you're going to see some origins. Mex- huh? I was at number one, you're having some beautiful Mexican skin on the screen. Yes. Dark. 
Mexican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not of, mid, he's just, mid. He's a nice mid. mid. I mean, darker than what you usually see. True. Yeah. <laughs> Which I love. I love it's, that. It's aspect. not Antonio Banderas. <laughs> now, you, you, you know, usually they lean the Spain yes, right, lighter. Spanish, very much. Yeah. Very much. Antonio Banderas. And so you got a guy named Tenoc Huerta. You have to do the because that's mm. that's Aztec because he's Mexican. Anyway, um, w- jumping out of the water and just looking menacing in half the shit. For well, the f- one scene, he's a baby. Mm-hmm. One scene, he's turning around from an orb of light, wearing a fucking jaguar headdress and gold everywhere. The other thing, he's falling from the water into a shark skeleton ma- mouth onto a throne while people kneel before him. And then he's getting bombarded by Umbaku, which, for the record, if you could pull that part of the clip up real quick, or Umbaku. The reason I bring it up, it's very important to me in terms of the fight choreography, because Umbaku jumping from the boat to attack Namor is some of the smoothest jump, see, uh, jump special effects I've seen in a long time. Looks real. Because Umbaku just goes he pl- from way plants. Well, he, no, he should not, be. But not only does he leap way higher, but he's dropping hella fast. Yeah. And with Physics. wire and with wire foo, <laughs> you look at like wire foo, people jump yeah. and they go yeah. hammer. This one he's he jumps in. And he's trying <laughs> and, and he's <laughs> definitely coming in yeah, hot. He's coming in hot like, like a son of who? And, like, yeah. and, and, and actually, you know, I'm gonna rewind it back. It is coming down fast. It's Very a real fast. jump. It's yeah. a real gravity, which I just I'm looking forward to the fight choreography. But two, Namor's not even looking at that shit. He doesn't he, give he's a just, fuck. He's looking at the ships coming in, blasting them. He ain't moving. His people are fucking freaking out, and I don't understand. I know Atlanteans are blue, and he's half human, which is why he's brown. But I, I also don't understand because it's not actually Atlantis. It's like. Lot Loke or something like that. Have yeah, they mentioned it yet? Yeah, yeah they have. They, they, it's a new city that they're inventing. Which I which like is, that a lot better than Atlantis. It's Atlantis. I it's think Atlantis, Atlantis is overused it's very in a abusing. lot of different Aquaman things. Aquaman has yeah. it. Let them have it. It's fine. Because like, was it like I forget the the Aztec god is rain is T L A C O like C O C whatever. So it's based off of that word. I think mm-hmm. water based. Um, if I'm right, and um, yeah, so. I'm looking at all this stuff, and I'm looking at him. He, there's that one scene where he's just holding his hand up, looking mad as fuck, and, I'm, and he's adorned in gold. He's got subjects. And I was talking to my friend Carlos, uh, Tlaloc, yeah, that's the god. Mm-hmm. Um, other than Apocalypto, I don't think we've ever seen this in a movie where we weren't getting slaughtered. You know, like no, people in this, no. like as my no. heaven at all dress. I can't think of a modern day movie that even played with it. Indig- Does not exist. Indian, like Native American, American Indians have had movies where they're represented, where they're getting slaughtered, but still represented. Uh, um, uh, we had that one scene in Eternals. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> yeah, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> I'm just not understanding what why that's not enough name? for you. Bodyguard or what the fuck right? was that? Yes, what was that too in that much. movie? Dude, you thought the, I oh, retain it in my brain. Tax collector. Tax collector. Yeah, yeah you know. David Ayer. Stop was, asking for so much, Creeper. Sammy. Stop. You got Shia LaBeouf. That's Creeper. That's <laughs> Creeper. That's Creeper. That's Creeper. He had a tattoo in real life it's on his stomach. You, 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 you were an Ant-Man and had Shia LaBeouf. My yeah. God. What do you Selfish. Want? You were reps before we were. And half of Miles Morales, which is just Puerto Rican, which is like five out of a hundred people. But <laughs> stop doing that. I'm not a New Yorker. You that's, do that with honestly, Carlos. Is all. <laughs> the, the thing about it is... Puerto Ricans are so different from Mexicans that it's almost like they're not alike, especially New York Puerto Ricans. It's because most Mexicans are south, right? It's close, closer. Proximity. Most Mexicans everywhere, right? But look, but you, 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 you can't afford that representation cutting. Yeah. But no, but we don't even get them because black folk are like, that's black Spider-Man. It's like the Obama uh, qua- he's conundrum. He's half black. It's black. the Obama conundrum. Obama's considered the first black president, even though he's only half. But he's still first black president. He's been called nigga. He's black like, as fuck. You, 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 <laughs> you think black. I sit there and I'm like, man, Idris is British. Fuck him. See, no, we take it. You see the racist <laughs> memes about him? <laughs> there are more British speaking black men in acting than there are. Uh, yeah, they take. I they know. Take they a they lot take of, the good role. Yeah, what I'm saying, it's not true, roles. but they do take. What the I'm good saying is, nobody was like, oh man, it's the first Latino Spider Man. No one said that about Miles Morales. Not once. You got Oscar Isaac. Well, he's Moon Knight. No, he's Spider Man twenty. Oh, oh yeah, uh, Miguel O'Hara. Yeah, yeah whatever. It's, so, so you're saying dark skinned Hispanic people aren't Hispanic? Wait, that's what you're saying. About Oscar Isaac? He's no, Mullen. No, you said uh, <laughs> you said Miles Morales. You know? Oh, Miles Morales. No, I'm saying that black people absorbed him faster because we do have colorism in our hey, culture. Man. I'm gonna admit to that Look. openly. That yeah, Latinos have total colorism, and so they're less likely to embrace it than black people are because he is dark skinned. Hey, Sammy, when there's that's one, just the truth. Sammy, here's the deal: when there's one piece of cake left. 
whoever gets it first. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, hey, Y'all just want to hunt. We got him. 